This is SAT Test 5, non-calculator question number 7. College Board gives us a word problem involving writing a system of inequalities. It's easy to recognize those because they say which of the following systems of inequalities represents this situation. And our answer choices all involve systems of inequalities rather than solving those systems. So in this case what we're trying to do is identify which of the four options represents this situation. And if you look, all four options have 12x plus 9.5y on the left, and either less than or equal to 220 or greater than or equal to 220. So let's look at the words of the problem and see how 12x plus 9.5y is supposed to compare with 220. We work x is hours she tutors and she makes $12 per hour tutoring. So 12x would be the amount of money she makes tutoring. And then 9.5y at 9.50 per hour as a lifeguard, where y is the number of hours as a lifeguard, 9.5y would be the amount of money she makes as a lifeguard. So 12x plus 9.5y is the total amount she makes. And the question is, is that total amount supposed to be more or less than 220? We're told she wants to earn at least 220. So the amount she earns, 12x plus 9.5y, has to be greater than or equal to 220, which is choices C or D. We can reject choices A and B. Now let's look at the second constraint. Our second equation was always x plus y on the left and 20 on the right. She can work no more than 20 hours. Her hours worked are x, hours as a tutor, plus y, hours as a lifeguard. So x plus y is no more than 20. That's less than or equal to. It is not choice D. The choice where both equations are satisfied by the word of the problem is choice C. In these problems, it's all about reading the question carefully. Make sure you read their question to make sure that your answer answers their question. Often there will be a distractor in the question where they suggest at the start that they wanted to go one direction and then your end of the question will say, but that didn't happen, so you need to look for something else in the system of inequalities that they're asking you to choose. There will be typically six systems of equations problems on your SAT and one of them involves writing a system of equations or inequalities from a word problem but not actually solving that system. Come back soon for my next math video. With math there's always more.